Okay, let's start. So uh, good afternoon. This is uh, Jerry from Red Hat. So um, how's it how's it going? Very good. Very good. Uh, but most of all, <laughs> seem very tired <laughs> today. <laughs> uh, let's do a research first. How many of you are um, OpenStack user? Or oh, seem quite quite a lot. How many of you are using Red Hat? Okay, a uh, 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 few number of that. How many users using SUSE? No? <laughs> okay. I used to work in SUSE, and now I work in Red Hat, and my major duty is now today is to promote OpenStack to our customer. Okay, so another question is I want to know more about you. Uh, how many of you classify yourselves technical people? Okay, how many of you classify yourself business people? No? So, those <laughs> don't low raise up your hand, uh, zombie? <laughs> Something like that? Oh, okay, anyway. Uh, today, I, I, this is our roadmap for my sessions. I want to tell something, uh, what is the cloud, and what is your strategy you need to consider in the first session. And the session is um, a Red Hat way to the cloud. Uh, some, a little bit of selling, <laughs> so don't worry about that. And finally, I will tell you how to maximize the uh, car value from today and tomorrow. Okay, uh, let me tell you about some history first, because uh, history informs the futures. Okay, how far you look back into uh, history can imply you how far you can see it in the future. So a uh, hundred years ago, there is a very big change in the manufacturing. It is the shift from the steam engine to the electric, electricity power, right? It brings a lot of huge benefit and opens up many new uh, opportunities. The process is inevitable and irreversible. It is just the same case about the transformation from virtualization to cloud computing. It also brings huge benefit and opens up extreme possibility. Okay, so it's just a process you can't resist. So how we adopt the cloud computing is uh, what you need to think and your strategy need to consider. From if you if you are using virtualization a lot, I think most of the company or the user already using virtualization for past few years and maybe invest a lot into uh, some proprietary solution to provide the virtualizations. If I tell you that the benefit the virtualization brought to your company or to you is already over, it's already over. So you, will, you may be surprised. But you just think about a few years ago, when you invest a lot in virtualization, it brings a lot of competitive advantage over your competitor because it saves you a lot of our rental costs, the electricity costs, and the hardware costs, right? But however, in, the, in today's Basically, every company already adopt virtualization. So the benefit is already just the same as your competitor. So it's already over. Much worse, if your company or, or your, your own using heavily on virtualization, it will sooner or later uh, reach the critical phase that basically losing more value on your virtualization. Uh, why? First of all, virtualization not only brings benefit to you, but also bring a lot of challenge to your environment. First of all, the typical virtualization, uh, proprietary, uh, solo based virtualization, give you a lot of cost. You will, uh, you will cost you, okay? And secondary, the virtualization also create, spoil, and manage a uh, problem like the privacy, like the, um, Governance problem that will case a lot of operation issue for your side. Okay, uh, hopefully, unfortunately, the cloud computing uh, bring you a new opportunities to overcome this challenge, like what we, what we saw in the transformation. However, sad to say, there is a long way to go to migrate from the traditional virtualizations to the cloud-based uh, application model. It need a long process to trans transform from these two models. That means you need to manage both sides of the world at the current time, okay? Before you uh, finally reach the truly uh, open cloud model. So when the IT infrastructure evolve and as as well as the IT application 
also changing. Uh, the typical virtualization, as I mentioned, is not, uh, typically is a VM, uh, where <laughs> that is quite expensive. And you will see the cloud technology is more open in nowadays. And also, the typical virtualization uh, uh, application require high availability provided from the uh, virtualization infrastructure. But the cloud application nowadays require a more lightweight infrastructure. They don't care about the XA. They just put up 100 VM for a same, for example, online games application, and don't care any one of, that, or any one of them to die. It is very different from the traditional virtualization, right? And finally, the, 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 the application itself, the, the model also changing. So the result is a chasm between the proprietary software and the open software, and between the scale up and the scale out architecture, and between the uh, traditional application and the cloud application. Okay? So what is the solution? The solution actually is quite simple. You need a unified cloud management platform that can manage both of the world. Manage the traditional application and manage the cloud application. So that you can migrate smoothly from the old world to the new world on your own timelines without hurry to, to feel so much of pain <laughs> uh, you experience in, 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 your, in, your, in your work on OpenStack right now. Okay? But one thing you need to consider is the login issue. Uh, Gartner and IDC already pointed out the cloud major, the major concern of the cloud for the customer is about the uh, vendor login. It is very true when you review the, uh, the IT history, you got a lot of login from uh, micro <laughs> VM and Oracle something, right? So, and another, another point I would like to point out is that the greatest innovation in the cloud right now is come from the open source world, like the open stack, and not the proprietary, okay? So you need to think more, con uh, uh, more seriously about how you choose the cloud, because uh, it affects your competitors, your com company competitors in the coming later 10 years. It will lose a lot of flexibility if you choose only for the cloud strategy, okay? Yes, of course. That's why I will talk <laughs> in the second part. <laughs> okay, we go ahead for a bit, bit uh, fast. So actually, now you should rethink your cloud strategy, how to bridge the old world to the new world, and how to manage your timeline more confidently. So no need to feel too much of planes, and, and then you can slowly evolve comfortably from the traditional application to the cloud application. There is actually many ways to go to so-called open cloud, but there is a way uh, from Red Hat I just want to share to you. It's for your reference only, uh, not, 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 for <laughs> not for selling, okay? So this is come to the question for, for this gift. Anyone knows this word meaning? The meaning of this word? Anyone? It's a lighting language. Omen freedom preferred I I translate from the Google Translate, so I, I think my spelling should be correct. And actually mean uh, everything come with free is perfect. It's actually quite often happen in IT industry. So for example, this year, do you know the, this is the third year uh, birthday for OpenStack? This is the birthday cake, uh, birthday cake uh, we sent to the OpenStack Foundation. Okay, so if you already decide OpenStack is your cloud strategy for your future open cloud, I think many one already give up uh, quite a lot of example for the OpenStack. That if you choose that, I want to tell you three more things. The first thing is uh, Red Hat needs open source. In many ways, I think uh, Red Hat did open source. I, I don't think uh, too many argue <laughs> for that. I hope, I hope so. And the second one is Red Hat knows OpenStack. We are the number one contributor for Q3 and for Havana. We have 
the top six of the out of the ten contributor being Red Hat employee for the OpenStack. We open a lot of new projects like the Triple O, and we actually involve in every core project in OpenStack. So we are both deep and broad in OpenStack involvement. Okay, and finally, Red Hat understand enterprise. We bring open source to enterprise for over 20 years already. Okay, we start from Linux, middleware, virtualization, and now cloud. So we got a lot of understanding from them and what is their requirement. For example, the upgrade pain you're facing now, <laughs> right? <laughs> the, the support issue you, you, you need to manually to, to, to troubleshoot. So we pay the value for that one. So here's comes to uh, so-called our, our way to uh, the open cloud. We have a product called Red Hat Cloud Infrastructure. It consists of three solutions. Again, it's a free solution. So first one is the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualizations that basically cater for the uh, traditional uh, uh, application workloads. Another thing, of course, is the Red Hat OpenStack. We eyes on the future cloud environment that also you are thinking of. And finally, we have uh, tools to give up the old world and the new world together by our Red Hat Cloud Form Management Solution. And we will show you later what is the benefit it can bring to you. Uh, Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization is an um, enterprise grade uh, virtualization infrastructure based on KVM infrastructure in KVM hypervisor that also uh, Red Hat lead, the project with Red Hat lead. We can run Windows workload and Linux workload on top of the uh, hypervisor uh, uh, from, from the RxE version. We bring basically all the enterprise features you need today, like the XA, uh, our high availability, Slapsock storage, migration, etc., on that platform already. It is best fit for your traditional workload right now, okay? So in terms of performance, we claim the top six performance and only XSocket uh, score from the spec world. You can search for the specworld.org to see the detailed benchmark. And in terms of cost, of course, open source bring a lot of benefit to you also. We only have uh, around, compared with uh, the, the proprietary solution, we have around seventh or to uh, fifth, if you can't fee year of the cost. So another thing I mentioned already is uh, we bring all those uh, little features you, you require for the traditional workload nowadays inside our infrastructure, uh, virtualization infrastructure. So it is a very good start point for you and for your company to move from a proprietary virtualization model to an open alternative. It saves a lot of costs for you to invest for the cloud environment, okay? The second component, of course, is the, 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 the major point for, for this summit, the Red Hat OpenStack. I, I think most of you know, know in and out of the OpenStack, so I don't mention in the technical point. I want to point you to value that we can bring to you uh, on top of the community version of OpenStack, okay? Uh, we are optimized and integrated with uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And you know that 80% of the cloud workload nowadays run on Linux. From public cloud and private cloud, we got, we got this statistic. Another thing is that you should know that OpenStack need to run on Linux, right? <laughs> so we combine the best of the both with the best support we can offer. To, to you to use the OpenStack, more enterprise friendly. And one thing, the most important thing I think we can offer to you is the uh, longer term of support life cycle. You know, you, you need to, you, I heard a lot of story today that you need to reinstall uh, every half year and many pain you experience is very, very, <laughs> very trouble, right? But you enjoy, enjoy the process. <laughs> so, Red Hat offer a longer uh, support life cycle. For coming Havana release, actually we will support uh, from half year to one point half year. Okay, so it's more easy to, for you to enjoy the OpenStack functionality. We will backport the security patch, backport the new features to the previous versions, so you no need to uh, upgrade so frequently and focus on more on the Hadoop project or, or, or your, your Titan project, et cetera, okay? And of course, you no need to 
dirty head your <laughs> many tasks to backport so many of things. We have quite a lot of engineers involved, many projects, and then we can support uh, you to, to do all those dirty head things. Okay? This is the major value we can offer to you. And the second thing is, actually Red Hat follow the same successful formula. Uh, when we do from Linux, from the middleware, from the virtualization, from the storage, and now for the open stack. We also heavily involve in the community and bring the innovation to the enterprise from the same formula. So we are very experienced and uh, should be very good on it also. And finally, we need a piece, a, a, a something to give up the two, two worlds. Okay? This is our solution called Cloud Forms. Cloud Forms is a cloud management solution that can enable your existing virtualization uh, platform to the cloud, in the cloud uh, offer them the cloud function and then build up a cloud platform for them. In the same time, we not only provide a cloud enablement, we also uh, provide best infrastructure management tools for you uh, to manage your infrastructure. I saw many stories uh, today that ah, you, you, you think the dashboard is not good, so you try to manually build something like that, uh, or some using some third party solution uh, to manage uh, 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 the, your, your open stack. And actually, we got all this thing already. And you will, you will see some example for that. I will tell you some benefit. First of all, it is the most basic benefit request for, for the cloud, right? It is the uh, fast. You need a fast provision. No need to, to write a form and then <laughs> request to someone and then get someone to approve. It is a very long process if you do it manually and a hard copy, uh, in a hard copy way. So how we can speed up the process? The second one most company require is that how to authorize or how to limit the, the access control of each process. You still need to uh, approve a process in a company, uh, no need, no need, then no need for the administrator to do everything. Okay, you just let the process to go. Uh, the manager of, of the, the, the requester to approve the process and no need to involve any administrator to do that work. And finally, you need a very transparent, the so-called chargeback or so bad system to let the each uh, BU to know what is the cost they are now uh, involving. Because nowadays, the IT budget is not controlled by the IT department. Basically, <laughs> it's controlled by different BU. We have IT budget from non-IT, every, every company, okay? So, so just let them, let them know how many they are using in the shared infrastructure is very critical. So we can speed up all the process from a week to a, to a few hours, then it is what the major benefit we can offer to them. The second benefit is the cow busting. So you know, uh, from an uh, economic point of view, the public cow, of course, is cheaper. Big, they, they, they have a bigger scale, they, big, they have a bigger economic scale. You can't compare, even you have a very big private cow, right? So, but the problem is that for a company, you, you still need to control the compliance, control the security, whenever you, you move your workload from inside to outside. So we have those policy, uh, we help you how to replicate based on your setting, your threshold setting, and then when you really uh, reach the policy setting, we will have a approval workflow inside, and then you will get the key holder to approve the process to make sure the compliance is compliant, <laughs> okay? And you also need a optimization technique to cater the critical phase I mentioned before. So you will see when you, when you, when you heavily invo uh, using the virtualization, you will reach uh, so many VMs borrow, so many management issues, okay, you are facing nowadays. So how can we uh, do that? For example, when you request a VM, you need to think which uh, area, well, which location we should put the VM to. Maybe public, maybe private, maybe the VMware, maybe actually Hyper-V, OpenStack. There is a many uh, selection right now. So you need, to, you need to know where is the best place to, to put on the, your, your, your work node. And secondly, you also need to identify the, the spots you are currently experiencing, okay? And what make the spice, 
Okay, it's very hard to identify right now, but we have some answer for you. Because we can have a timeline uh, comparison we call the GIF history or GIF analysis inside the VM, not only uh, the outside infrastructure. We can look into, for example, a, a, a window VM. We can look into the registry. Anyone change the registry? Anyone remove the RAM, CPU, or configuration file? We can detect that and provide a GIF analysis report for you to locate the problem. Okay? Uh, of course, after knowing that those information statistics from, from your infrastructure, we can also give you some right size recommendation for you to plan for your future project, for example. And also it will give you some warning. For example, oh, your storage will be full after 90 days based on the current trend. Okay, we have the intelligence, the car form will tell you all those questions. Uh, where do we have a race? Do we put the correct workload to the correct uh, infrastructure? Okay? And security and, uh, and compliance is also a major concern when you adopt the car inside a company. I, I use an example. Car form has a very strong policy setting that can um, check your VM, I mean the inside your VM. For example, uh, for anti rise the, uh, the pattern is not update. We can not allow the VM to run. We can disqualify this VM. Okay? And at the same time, we will alert all those stakeholders, like the user and the administrator, together. Okay? So you will fix, fix the problem and then make sure you comply to your policy and then so that you have a safe car environment. Okay? And finally, IT management. It's all about management. Okay, I saw some example today. You need to have a multiple console to, to manage across uh, a different cloud environment. If you're using uh, VM, uh, UVM, some proprietary software, you will have seven console to manage. You have a seven console to manage. I don't, I don't know whether you have tried uh, other solutions. But sad to say, if you use seven console to manage your cloud environment, then you are just managed by the management system and not you manage the environment, okay? And I also give you an example. It is the way how we show your workload on your VM infrastructure. We have many, many workloads on, on different uh, VM infrastructure. So from an icon, we will show what is the OS of the, what is the, OS of the VM, where, what is the base infrastructure, base uh, virtualization infrastructure, any laptop, any policy I mentioned before, the security policy, compliance policy we have set, and the state of the VM now currently running or not. So innovation means from well integration, okay? And innovation more come from details to help you to save, uh, to save your workload, okay? And it is the real value that we can bring to you, okay? We, you, you still, need to leverage your big investment in your current virtualization platform. You need to leverage it, right? You don't throw it away, although it is a sudden cost. <laughs> and another, another thing is that you need to eye on your future. Like of you already uh, moving ahead to try OpenStack, uh, find the opportunity that can bring to you, okay? And another thing is you need a unique cloud management solution that gives the old world to the new world, as I mentioned before. Okay, it really unless the cow, real cow value from this point of view. So there are many customers already um, follow the Red Hat ways to do the open cow. Although it is, um, although I mentioned a lot of Red Hat solution, I don't mean to want to sell you a lot. <laughs> I just, basically the principle underlying is the same. You still need the three things work together. Uh, the old world, the new world, the new application, the new cloud application, and something to manage both, okay? It's just a reference case for you to think about your current cloud strategy. Finally, I, I would like to uh, show you an example to, to see how you uh, maximize your uh, cur current cloud value and the tomorrow. Uh, for example, you, you are using VMware quite heavily nowadays. I believe uh, quite a lot of companies invest a lot a few years ago, okay? So the first step you can think of that is 
try to migrate to an open alternative. Uh, not only the uh, RxEV, or you can migrate to uh, KVM or XEN, something open source based, open virtualization, that can save you a lot of cost from the uh, virtualization infrastructure point of view. Because virtualization is not new, it's already 10 years ago. Okay? It become commoditized already. You need to find some more new competitors from the cloud and not from the virtualization. So, save more from, from, from the proprietary side, and then you can build your new open cloud foundation. And more than that, you have, uh, we have the cloud form, then can manage both virtualization in the same way that have the both features you need. At the same time, we both give you the dashboard, capacity planning, reporting, workflow, chargeback, or inside the cloud form management tools already. So it just make you the virtualization become a private cloud very easily, okay? So how about OpenStack? The cloud form 3.0 that released yesterday night, <laughs> yesterday night it released 3.0 uh, of the cloud form. It already can manage and integrate with the OpenStack, the latest version of OpenStack, uh, the Red Hat OpenStack, okay? So we are now introducing OpenStack into our family so that we have the single plan of cards for management to manage all those new world and the old world, okay? And what we are now doing is that the step two and step three. Step two is now we are trying to put our uh, EV cluster into the OpenStack so that it can manage it. The benefit is that we can have uh, more traditional X-ray availability, uh, migration, slap sort, those functionality put into, into your management of OpenStack. And finally, we will also make use of the OpenStack function in, uh, uh, in storage, networking, uh, security, all those things to share along of all your infrastructure and make it easy for your transformation from the traditional virtualization to the new cloud environment, okay? We are now doing that. And when will be happen for the, for the step two? Basically, it will happen in the coming January. We are already have a beta on our Red uh, Enterprise virtualization 3.3. It will have uh, integration capability for you integrate with the OpenStack and the RxGV uh, traditional virtualization. And it will come uh, late, later next year, okay? So we are not only provide product only, we are a uh, company want to help you to, to evolve to your cloud jewelry. Uh, we have training, we have a full cloud curriculum that include OpenStack, uh, cloud form and uh, storage and virtualization, something like that, to enhance your skill because enterprise or company want to invest uh, uh, the, the staff expertise to smooth the deployment to have the better performance, the actual deployment, okay? And the second thing, of course, we have certification, and uh, Red Hat is very famous, uh, the, the, the certification is very hard to pass, and, and those, it means more variable, <laughs> okay? Because all the examination, the certification examination is uh, based on the lab-based examination. So it's based on the live system, you, how to interact or how to tr troubleshoot your, uh, for example, open stack. Uh, situation, okay? And finally, we have a uh, service to help you guys to uh, speed up your process. We, we have a OpenStack Tiger team <laughs> over the world, over the global, and then uh, he will, and we also have some package, uh, package service solution that help you to speed up the process. Of course, it, you, you, we, 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 need, we need to earn something uh, for this, okay? So all these things, the training, certification, and the service is something we can help you or help the company to overcome what your hard lesson you, you are now experience when you use OpenStack, okay? We, based on the same uh, objective of the Red Hat, we are trying to bring the open innovation to the enterprise more easily and more efficiently, okay? So, it is the last word uh, of me. Uh, I just want to remind you, uh, the future is already here, and uh, it's just not evenly distributed. And cow is the next innovation, the open innovation that you need to uh, focus on. And remember to choose more wisely and 
think, think of that, who can support you for your whole cloud journey. And uh, the conclusion, of course, is our, our, our Red Hat Cloud infrastructure or Red Hat can help you uh, transform to the open cloud to bring you value for today and, and tomorrow. And that's all my presentation. Okay, thank you. So I, I want to, 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 to ask a question. So uh, how to spell this word? <laughs> how to, anyone want to try? Okay, thank you. So I will give you, uh, give you, I'll give it to you. So uh, that's all. Thank you very much. <laughs>